Hello, everyone. Um, are you ready to get started? I um, I'm excited to start this Bible study with you all. Um, this has actually been a study that has been at least two years in the making. Um, actually, if you think about it, it's probably been a lot longer than that. But um, actually, actively. Um, trying to find rest in God. So the study is right now it's called finding rest. So, um, this is very much a rough draft that I'm doing with all you wonderful, lovely, um, women of our church. So, um, I'm excited to get started. So let's um, pray for those of you who know me, I am an essential oils person. I love them. Um, and so I've got, um, my valor going in my diffuser and I've already rubbed it on me just to help me with courage. Um, because it is hard for me to, um, have the courage to speak to you. I do get a little nervous. <laughs> um, and, um, I, and also so I can stay focused. Um, I use essential oils in my daily prayer life as well. I've been doing it for about two years now, and I've seen that it really helps me focus, uh, especially as a mom of four. <laughs> so let's dive in and learn about resting in God. Okay. Dear Blessed Heavenly Father, Lord, we praise you and we thank you for this day. Thank you for these women who have joined me to um, discover you, to learn more about who you are and what you are doing for them. Lord, help us seek you every day and to find rest in every day and be with us, open our eyes, open our minds, open our hearts to you. In Jesus' name, amen. So what is rest? When you think about rest, what comes to mind? Um, usually we, we think about sleeping, we think about being still. Those are the things that come to mind, right? So Webster says that it is repose, sleep, specifically a bodily state characterized by minimal functional and metabolical activities. Um, in other words, <laughs> um, also freedom from activity or labor, a state of motionlessness or inactivity, um, actual death. Okay. The, um, a place of resting or lodging, peace of mind and of spirit, um, a rhythmic silence in music. So um, for those that are musically inclined, it's that resting pause where you just pause for a moment um, and not playing um, or singing in the music. A character representing such a silence. Um, a brief pause in reading something that actually supports you. So say like um, you're outside and you rest against the tree. Okay. So that would be a type of support. So we need rest so that our bodies and minds can rejuvenate and be ready to work uh, for the Lord. So let's begin in Genesis chapter one. So let's go all the way to, be, to the beginning. If you'll open up to Genesis chapter one. Okay. So let's look the whole chapter. The it's the Lord's work of creation. He is working and he actually takes the time to do only certain things each day. So morning and evening complete a day. So we know that he is working the whole entire week. So on day one, he created light. Okay. On day two, he separated this, the waters, 
okay? So the sky from the ocean. Then day three, he created the sun, moon, and stars. On day four was the land and all the vegetations. Then on day five, he created the birds in the, in the sky and the fish and creatures of the sea. On day six was all the land animals and Adam and Eve. Okay. So we, so those that have been familiar with um, church and the story of the creation, God did a lot in six days, creating the heavens and the earth. It took a lot for him to create that. So our minds, you know, can't necessarily fathom how much work um, it was, but he spoke and everything came into existence and he did it morning and day and each day had its own certain things that he created. So then we go to Genesis 2, 2 and 3 and it says, and on the seventh day, God ended his work which he had done and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had done then god blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because in it he rested from all his work which god had created and made so he took the time to pause after creating all of creation and decided that I'm going to take the seventh day to rest. Okay. So that kind of blows our minds. If we look back in the scripture and we know that it says that God never sleeps, we can look in Psalms 121 4, that it says that God never sleeps. So if he never sleeps, then why did God rest on the seventh day? Okay. God sanctified the seventh day to first dedicate it as a day of worshiping our creator. Okay. So he set it aside so that we can worship him and also reconnecting with him so he wants that relationship with us he wants us to take time out of our week set it aside schedule it in this is the day i am going to set aside to spend with my lord and see what he has for me and second to create a day free from work for us um the mundane work the the hard labor work. He wanted us to take one day to set aside and take it and focus it on him. So he wanted us to show, he wanted to show us that um, we need to take that time to rest. Okay. God's work is never done just like ours is never done. Okay. As a mommy of four, there are always going to be dishes that need to be washed. There's always going to be clothes, loads and loads and loads of clothes that need to be washed. There's always going to be furniture that needs to be polished. There's always going to be toys that needs to be picked up, bathroom that need to be cleaned, diapers that need to be changed, kids that need to be fed, husbands that need to be fed and taken care of. Um, so the daily chores, the daily work, the daily labor, even going to work, whatever job that you have, taking care of people, um, whatever it may be, um, we need to rest from that. Um, God blessed the day and sanctified it so that we can commune with him one day we can commune with him um the time to not it's the time to not worry with work to recharge our batteries spiritually mentally emotionally and physically our whole bodies 
need rest so that we can do the work God has for us. After resting in Christ, we are better able to know the next steps to be made in our relationships, in our marriage, in our career, in life in general. Rest is essential. Okay. So in order to find true rest, we must realize that we are sinners and we're bound to hell. Okay. Believe the death, burial, and resurrection and have accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. We then follow him in baptism in a scriptural church. Then begin studying God's word and law. So it says in Matthew 2.15, not Matthew 2.15, 2 Timothy 2.15, sorry. Um, be diligent to present yourself approved to God, a worker who needs not who does not need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Okay. So we need to study his word. We need to know it. Okay. And then Psalms one, one through three, our girls are actually going through um, the first of Psalms right now. Um, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates it day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit fruit in its season whose leaf also shall not wither and whatever he does shall prosper um we're also developing that relationship as we study god's word we are developing that relationship with him isaiah 5 55 6 and 7 says seek the lord while he may be found, call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord and he will have mercy on him and to our God. For he will abundantly pardon. God is holy and just. But he is also a merciful Lord who has created his wonderful story, which the story is the Bible that proclaims how he longs to restore his fallen creation by redeeming us through sacrifice of his blameless son. By seeking God through studying his word and praying daily, we can find God's rest. So if you don't already have a time set aside each day to spend, uh, to spend alone with God, um, today is the day to start. Let's, let's pick a day, time that is the best. Okay. Um, I'm, before I had kids, I felt like I was a morning person. I was always up and getting ready to go. But after I have, I've had kids, I've, I've realized I'm not a morning person as far as getting up and then all of a sudden the kids are thrown at me yelling and screaming. I just can't, I can't do that. Um, so um, I realized that I actually need to get up extra early and take the time to open God's word and have a little bit of quiet time for my thoughts, for God's word and praying over my day so that I can have a better day. Um, it has helped so much in my mood and focusing um, on what God has for me and my girls throughout the day. Okay, so now's the time. Find, look at your schedule, 
pick a time that best um, able to spend that time with God every single day. Okay. Even if it's just like five minutes, like with one verse, a lot of times, a lot of times it's so crazy that I'm like, okay, God, um, I'm going to read this one verse. I'm going to meditate on it. Um, and I'm going to pray a real quick prayer. And before I have to go into the chaos of four girls, you know, so let's go. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I just, every time I get a chance, I'll go and pray a prayer um, to God or meditate on his word because I will have, I'll have that scripture or a scripture out where I can go and read on it. Um, the girls and I actually do a Bible lesson together, but I also need my own quiet time with God. But yes, we, we do a Bible lesson. And so we have a verse that we, um, we meditate on throughout the day. So that has like really helped also with our overall focus, um, for the day. So let me pray for y'all as we end today. And I will be sending out y'all the, um, the daily devotionals. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube and you're like, I want to get in on this, um, um, shoot me a message and, um, I'll, and we'll talk. Okay. All right. Let's um, bow our heads and pray. Father in heaven, I praise you for who you are. You are merciful, God. You are loving and righteous who longs for a deep relationship with us. Lord, your word says that we can find rest in you. Please give us your rest as we follow your ways and study to know you more. In your precious name, amen. All right, I hope you have a wonderful evening and I can't wait to talk with you um, next week. All right, bye. Thank you.